Hey everyone, I'm back y'all with another video. So we're gonna get an overall message for today. All right, so these are general messages. They may or may not resonate with you. If they resonate, all the better. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you are new. All right, so let's get an overall love message for the collective. This is all signs. Give me a message for the collective, please. Oh, you got a jumper. My head isn't clear enough to make a decision. I'm not stable right now. Let me fix this. Are you going to listen to me? So somebody here is their head isn't clear enough. They aren't seeing things clearly enough to make a solid, firm decision. It looks like they want to fix it, fix the situation. They see that the situation is unstable, but they aren't sure if you're going to be open and uh, be willing to listen to their point of view, their perspective. Give me some more energy for this read. All right, they are spying on you. <laughs> they are watching you. We got the page of wands and the 10 of wands, eight of wands. Maybe this is someone that you haven't been in communication with. Um, some of you decided to drop this person. If someone feels like someone moves too slow. All right, but they're definitely spying on you. We got the paper swords, they're watching you. Could be watching your social media, watching, uh, riding by your house, like if they know where you live, see if there's who's around you, what you got going on. They're trying to see if you got other options, just like I said, seven of cups. They're looking to see what your options are, okay? They're like, I'm not gonna be no fool, two of swords and the fool. Before I come, before I come around there, I gotta see first. Okay. Ten of Wands. Yeah, they feel burdened. There was a lot of uh, sneaking going on, a lot of trickery, a lot of deceit going on. Okay, so they aren't sure what to believe at this point. So they're just sitting in the back spying. They're just sitting in the cut spying. Tell me more about this Ten of Wands energy. The Knight of Swords. Somebody was moving too fast. Um, being irrational. A little upset. This person is upset. Um, because somebody got dropped. It looks like they got dropped. They feel burdened. Okay. They're upset. They aren't happy with the four cups and the sun. They aren't happy with what they got going on in their lives. The thing about it, misery loves company. Misery loves company. Okay. Tell me more about this Knight of Swords. This could have possibly been too much back and forth going on. Mother Knight of Swords here. The Chariot. Yeah. It looks like some, it looks like this person wants to drop everything and come towards you, but they are, I'm just getting like, they scared. They don't know if you're going to even listen to them. Okay. We got the queen of cups, seven of wands, knight of pentacles. I feel like some of you could be dealing with the water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, but this energy is very slow. Like they're really, really taking their time to come towards you because they haven't spoken to you. You and this person haven't been in communication. We got the king of pentacles here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You could be really, really focused in on your pentacle with the ace of pentacles here, or you could be dealing with the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We got the will of fortune here and the world. Okay, this is definitely a cycle. Okay, maybe this is a continuous cycle of things. Like this type of things happen um, between you guys frequently. 
it looks like it's time to close a chapter, a cycle, okay? Tell me more. Yeah, we got the Empress, okay? The Empress. Tell me more about the Page of Swords. Six of Swords. Yeah, this person definitely is fine to see what you got going on. They want to see if you moved on, if you're done with them, if you're going to come back around. Monster Seven of Cups here. The Two of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Yep, they're looking to see if you got other options. And if you've completely cut them off with that Queen of Swords energy. The Empress here, you could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. We got the Hangman, Four of Cups, and the Nine of Cups, and the Tower. So somebody here, it looks like they are... I'm just keep getting like very like discontent, bored. Um, maybe there's no growth. They haven't reached a certain level. You could be um this person could could not even be on your level. Um and things for them could be at a standstill, like their growth. Tell me more about the hangman. We got the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, definitely like growth, expansion, okay? Queen of Wands and the Seven of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles. It looks like things are just moving slow for this person. Like things are on hold. Tell me more about this Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. So this person wants a uh, long term, wants something stable, um, but it looks like things are on hold, okay? Looks like things are on hold for them. I feel like they're thinking about what they want to communicate to you. We got the Four of Swords and the Ace of Swords. We got the Strength and the Two of Swords. They're not sure um, if they have the confidence, okay, to tell you how they feel. They don't know if they have the confidence. They, I feel like this person could be a, a really insecure. This person could feel like you're too good for them. We got the Ace of Pentacles in the past. This person, past energy is here as well. Um, with the Six of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. It looks like there was an opportunity that was presented to, the, to your person in the past. We got the King of Cups and the King of Cups, Five of Cups. Six of Pentacles. I feel like they took an opportunity. There was an opportunity that was put in front of them. I feel like they took the bait. And now I feel like they feel like they should have gave it some thought. We got the Six of Pentacles and the Moon. Because now this is their energy, Nine of Swords. They're Nine of Swords energy. They're in anguish. Okay? They're feeling like, dang, I should have gave this some thought. Because they're in regretful energy as well. Maybe they got in a new connection with the King of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Or they put their emotions and feelings in the forefront instead of looking at the situation from a logical point of view. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Three of Wands. Yes. They've been waiting for some type of at the perfect moment or a perfect opportunity to come across. We got Temperance could be a Sagittarius um, to bring in some type of balance. Now, this is the thing. Six of Cups, they still, they're still they still sitting on here in the past. They're still reminiscing on the past, okay? And their thoughts, like they're in their head a lot. They're feeling like they should have gave this some thought before they made a move. Why is the Six of Cups here? The Emperor. Could be an Aries. They could have possibly made a decision based off of ego. But it's th this person thinks about you all the time. Four of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. They can't get you off of their mind. They can't get you off of their mind. 
They had a choice to make. We got the Strength card, the Two of Swords, and the Queen of Cups, the Sun. They had a choice to make. Could have possibly been between a Leo and a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Leo's here, energy is here twice. And the Two of Swords, it's like they were at a fork in the road. Maybe they had to choose between two people. Maybe they chose somebody else over you, okay? But they can't, they still think about you all the time. And then now they have the audacity to want to spy on you to see if you moved on. Like, what type of shit is that? What's the future energy? Ooh. All right, so we got the Two of Pentacles. All right, so tell me more about the Two of Pentacles, the Fool. Hmm. <laughs> They're getting ready to take some type of leap of faith, some type of risk, maybe to reach out and contact you. Because I feel like you haven't been in communication with this person for a while. The eight, I'm sorry, the page of wands is communication coming in. Eight of pentacles, they could be trying to reach out to you. But I'm feeling like they feel like they got to sneak and do it. Like they got to be sneaky about it. I don't feel like they're going to just up outright just message you and tell you how they feel. I feel like they're going to try to be sneaky about it. They possibly are going to try to come in um, and try to get you in bed with them, with the, the King of Wands and the Ace of Wands. And then try to tell you how they feel. Um, this person is insecure. Why is the fool here? Knight of Cups, yeah, here they come with, they're going to be trying to make you some type of offer with a magician. They're going to be coming in trying to communicate with you and make you some type of offer. But everything that glitters that ain't gold, I feel like this person is coming in with their wand or they, they poom poom, okay? Like every offer, you got to check to see what the intentions are first. Tell me about the Knight of Cups, King of Pentacles. It could be that they could be trying to come in and offer you some a gift or money. Or this could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. They're coming in with the offer. Their intuition could be telling them, like, you good, you really straight. But they feel like you're still heartbroken over the situation. We got the Three of Swords and the King of Cups. But possibly because you wanted this connection with them. Um, but they're feeling like they should have gave this they should have gave this some thought. We got the devil here. It could be a Capricorn or the situation was extremely toxic. I see a lot of competition here, especially ooh, especially with the five of wands and the six of wands. Very and the devil. Very competitive energy. Like this is set up for people to compete and argue and fight. Possibly for attention. Um this person wanted to see how you would respond. Someone here has very player-like energy, but they could be married here with the Hierophant. But some changes are getting ready to occur, especially with this Wheel of Fortune in the world. Some changes are getting ready to occur. I feel like the way that you possibly used to move with this person, when this person comes back around to reach out to you and make you this offer, I feel like some of y'all are going to be closing chapters, like closing old ways of doing things, how you handle, how you handle the situation. I feel like your guard is going to be up. You're listening to what they say. Um, and I feel like they're going to be trying to collaborate with you. Um, and waiting for your response, but is I don't feel like it's too much. It's seven of swords and the king of wands and the ace of wands. First of all, this person actions is still sneaky. They feel they got a big ego. Okay. They possibly have a huge whatever, and it's trying to just get in bed with you. Okay. Some of y'all just going to be realizing, look, judgment in the death card. This situation needs to end final decision. Um, for some of you, it could be a marriage with the four of wands here, okay? You didn't get what you deserve or what you wanted out of the situation. Some people, somebody may have got kicked out with the five of pentacles, left out, abandoned for somebody new, okay? Because somebody new came along. 
this person is coming back with an offer. And now they're, they're going to be saying, you know, my head wasn't clear. I wasn't thinking straight. <laughs> I wasn't stable. You know, we had this, this going on. Let me try to fix this now. Are you going to listen to me? This is their energy. They're coming back in with the offer. All right, so this is the message that I have for you guys. If this message resonated, be sure to hit the thumbs up as well as comment below in the comment section. All right, y'all. Talk to y'all later.